Good morning. Good morning. You get high five whenever we see you if you can tell me how many days I have been wearing the shirt. <laughs> Leave a comment with a nice friendly uh, facetious note about your answer and uh, the winner gets a high five. First person to respond. On that note, today is dirty. It is wet. Yeah, muddy. <clears throat> it is rainy. Yeah. And we are on our way to a bad word place. It's not a bad word. Oh, his well, cage is shot. It starts with a bad word. He wants to go oh, look crate. at our little monkey buddy. We got his crate up here. <laughs> He's trying to get in it and it's shut. And it's shut. There we go. Here you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Go no, you don't want to go up there. There you go. Good boy. He's he's pretty awesome. He's really awesome. But then he's gonna want to stand on my shoulder, which isn't isn't cool. <laughs> he constantly has to be touching one of us. Speaking of touching, where are we heading today? Acetate. Hi, you said it. It's not a bad word. If you get that, leave a comment too. <laughs> Touch and get it. Nah. Stop. Uh, no. Anyway, anyway, that was not politically correct. So we're on our way to Acetate. <laughs> The big challenge today, besides the rain, is going to be driving underneath the Chesapeake. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we are going to try to drive underneath the, so the tunnel. Cool. Um, I know there, it's a toll road, and I do know that there's some requirements with RVs. Obviously, we have a propane we're going to be turning off. Um, I think it's possible. I remember reading about it at some point in the planning, but I didn't really plan it because that's not what we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we can't go under there for some reason, it's a very, very, very long day, which is why we're getting started right now. But Lindsay's going to scarf down her bagel, and then she's going to find out exactly what we do to get underneath the Chesapeake Bay so that we can end up over at uh, where Assateague is. I think I don't think it's Chincoteague, like but it's, it's Maryland. We'll be in Maryland. Yeah, we're going to Chincoteague is in Virginia. So that is our plan. We, of course, will be taking you along with us. No dash cam footage because of the rain. It's going to be a little Unless bit you just want to see boring. raindrops on the windshield. In which case, I'll post a link where you can just watch raindrops on the windshield. We have a video? No, just... but I'll okay. find one. Somebody's <laughs> done it. You know, you know, in 2020, somebody's done that. So we're going to get on the road, and we will check back in shortly. Hopefully, we will be underneath the bridge when we do, or almost underneath, underneath the We'll get video of that. The bay. Yeah, of course. Of course. There's no yeah. rain when you're underneath the bay. There's no rain. What? There's no rain underneath the water. We won't be wet? It's kind of weird. You're going to go underneath the water, <laughs> but we're not going to get wet. It's so crazy. It sounds like a riddle. It's so crazy. Where can you go where you could be... Underwater. Underwater. But not get wet. But not get wet. Yeah. Think on that for a little bit. I said on Facebook. Think on that for a little bit. Check in later. Hey, Lens. Guess what just happened? What? We just crossed a new state line for Rocket. Virginia. Number 28. 28 states Rocket and Tree Trimmer have crossed. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, if you think about all the miles we've covered, that's kind of pathetic. We should be like, we should have done 50 states. Rocket's been the Nebraska 48 states, though. 49 states. Yeah. Does that count? No, that doesn't count. I did, Tree Trimmer wasn't. I did drive through Nebraska, but that didn't count. We weren't together for that. So. 28 states. Pretty exciting. And then we're going to go to Maryland, which is going to be 29. So here we go. So we just went through the toll booth for the Chesapeake Tunnel. It's uh, $14 for cars and trucks. I think it's $14 for pretty much everyone. Yeah. Um, any passenger vehicle, even if you have an RV. Uh, you have to turn your propane off. So we did that when we stopped at a gas station a little bit ago. And we are on our way. It was very easy. Huh, I thought the whole thing was going to be under. This is neat. For $14, we 
should be able to be underwater the whole time. I thought it was the whole bay. For $14, we darn sure better spend more time underwater. <laughs> Lindsay's mind is completely blown by this idea of the tunnel. Because we didn't go in on land, she's trying to figure out how we're going to get into the tunnel when we're on top of the water right now, like we're driving on a bridge. But really, like, how do you go underneath without water going in the hole? <laughs> I mean, do you, is it like turn into a tube? I guess we'll find out. If it turns into a tube, like covered before you go down. But then I wonder, what do they do with rain? Like, where does the rainwater go? Because I mean, gravity, it's gonna like, Unless they have like some like gutter system that keeps them right now. I just, I just, I want to know how this works. If Lindsay's not with us <laughs> after the tunnel, it's because her brain just exploded. How does this work? I don't know. I'm confused. Well, let's roll with it. Oh, I think we're coming up on something. Still three quarters of a mile. This might be where we go underground. This is crazy. So there's an island. Oh. Well that makes sense. So there's an island. Yeah. And then you go down. But it looks like it's down over the air. Whoa, this is scary. I don't want to do this. Can we turn around? <laughs> Can we turn around? Is it too oh. late to bail? Oh my gosh. It's too late to bail. Here we go. No, we can bail right there. <laughs> bail where? Oh my gosh. Up, we're going to go underwater. It's too late to bail. So they made an island, but where does the rain go? It's got to go down. Here we go. Lights on. This is crazy. We're in the tunnel. We're underwater. I don't think we're there yet. Once we hit the bottom, I think we're underwater. Well, we're probably underwater now. We're, we're underwater. This is nuts that it turned into two lanes. How does it do with traffic? Is there more than one? No. Because there was another one on the other side. This is like, I'm freaking out. This is crazy. Most people don't take this, it's $14, so. You don't like, oops, I got off on the wrong exit. Did you feel the pressure change? No. Did your ears just pop? Nope. My ears just pop. We're underwater. Chris, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're way too tall to be in here. But we fit. This is nuts. This is so cool. Oh look, there's the end. Well that was shorter than I expected. I think they should have put windows so we could see like the <laughs> right. marine life. Oh my gosh, and it would be like being in the tunnel in SeaWorld. I would have paid more money oh. for it. Like the shark tunnel in SeaWorld? Yeah. Where you can see all the, oh man, that would, they should have done that. I would have paid more money just to have that view while we're driving through. Dude, if SeaWorld can do it, they can do it. To be able to see ships. You just see the bottom underneath the ship. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Big old propellers. Wow, this semi truck's barely fit. Whoa. And just like that. happen to work for the Virginia <laughs> Maryland Department of Transportation and you know what happens to the rainwater <laughs> we'd really appreciate it 
if you would contact us directly. Don't even put it in the comments. We don't want everybody to know. Send us an email, hello at calledtowander.com. And uh, yeah, we, we really want, well, I don't care, but she really wants to know. I might just Google it. But if you know, please tell me. I don't know that Google would know the answer. It's such a random, rare question. Hey Siri, where does the rainwater go in the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel? sign off for a minute because we do have another tunnel so there's another opportunity for Lindsay's mind to be blown again it's crazy to like see it yeah the bridge just ends it's like you're gonna drive off which so so you know a little bit more about me I have three irrational fears I guess all fears are rational but the first is getting hit by a foul ball at a baseball game I love going to baseball games but I'm fearful of getting hit in the head with a foul ball and it almost happens like every time I go. It's like getting struck by lightning for some people. The second one is choking on a piece of steak. So I eat my steak really, really slow. I cut it into small pieces. If you know me, I eat my food fast, but when it comes to steak, no, I eat it really slow. And I did actually choke one time and my dad had to Heimlich me at a family party. So I know it's possible. The third is driving off a freaking bridge. I don't know if you've had that dream, but I've had it since I was like eight years old, before I even knew what driving was. You go up this bridge and then all of a sudden it drops it off and you can't stop. Like, you just keep whoop, and off you go. And I, that's my third rational fear. So, as we're approaching this next tunnel, like it literally looks like the bridge just ends because I can see it on one side. I can see it on the other side, but I don't see it in the middle. And I'm going 50 miles an hour, so it makes me feel like I'm just gonna poop right off. Emergency pull off, should we just pull over and like call somebody to drive? We should get a picture of us no. on the bridge. That's not an emergency, <laughs> Lindsay. Disregard that if you're the same person who works for the Virginia or Maryland Department of Transportation. Lindsay does not like to pull over on bridges and cause emergency crises to take photographs. <laughs> We're not that kind of people. What do you think, dogs? Where does the rainwater go? Huh? Where does it go? I mean, gravity. It's gonna rain. It slopes down. And the rainwater just keeps going. I mean, it does look like there's like a system here on the edge. Yeah, got gutters. Gutter. So. Somehow, the rain goes somewhere. My ears are popping again. Your ears aren't popping? No. It's because I got COVID. I go 90 feet below water. 95 feet. The real question is, do we have cell phone reception? Four bars? Four G. At the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay? I have four G. Look at that. It's blurry, but four bars. This semi-truck behind me knows what he's doing. I think he's kind of upset that we're newbies. That we're going slow? Well, I mean, I'm going the speed limit. Oh, there's the end. I see the light at the end of the channel. Channel? Channel. Channel tunnel, channel tunnel. I like it. The channel's been around forever between the UK and France. What? It's not an original idea. Oh, look, it's raining on this side. So where does the water go? It's going down, it's going in. <laughs> it wasn't wet in there, so. Well, we're back to four lanes. Well, two lanes on our side. Now it just goes up over there. 
that's it. Yeah. Well, so wow. far, so good. Crazy. Really cool. What an experience. My fear is getting a flat tire right here. Getting a flat tire down there? What do you do if you break down in the tunnel? Oh, yeah, that's awful. Whoa. I bet, they think, I, bet, I bet they treat you like you're a terrorist if you break down in the tunnel. Like you did it on purpose. Never stop. Alright. Signing off. Till Maryland. Till Maryland. Bye, Felicia. We took a little detour um, because Lindsay read a book when she was a kid. It was um, um, Gone with Gone with the Wind. No. Misty. Mist. No. Misty. Yes. Misty's a book. Misty of Chincoteach Island. I don't remember the name of it. It's the famous pony. That's what I'm talking about. I wrote a book about her. It's Name's gone. Misty. It's Gone with the Wind. No, it's not. So we're at Chincoteague. And we're just driving around. It's cute, but it's just a bunch of houses. We're just going to drive around for a couple <laughs> minutes and then we are going to continue on to Assateague because Assateague is a good hour and a half away. That's where we're camping for the next two nights and Lindsay will be able to go around and take her pictures of the horses. Chincoteague is also famous for horses. They're connected. Assateague and Chincoteague are connected, but we can't get to Assateague from Chincoteague unless we go all the way back around to the main road and then up north and then back out to the coast. So that's what we're going to be doing. I feel like we're driving further and further away from that right now. So we'll go ahead and flip around and start heading back. We're in Assateague in the campground getting to our site no. and the dogs are barking because they see horses. Oh. Lindsay's in heaven already. Getting out the big lens. Can you walk back here? Or... Yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. I'm asking you, can you? Are you okay with that? Yes. All right, we're gonna go camp, set up camp, and then Lindsay's gonna come back to these horses. You can't ride them though, Lindsay. There. Oh, there's more on the other side. Well, we are at Assateague, morning number one, day number two. Yesterday was crazy. The wind, the storm, the rain, like last night. Yeah, last night. The, during the day, it was nice. Fall hit but... us. We are into fall right now, we're in a sweatshirt. We're gonna go for a walk on the beach. It's still windy, like 15, 20 mile an hour wind with gusts over that. So it'll be pointless to talk to you while we're out walking around. <laughs> but we are going to go walk around, get the do energy, get the dog's energy, get energy for the dogs. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. The dogs have energy, especially Huck. We're going to go get that energy out with some walks. And then Lindsay's probably going to go find her horses. I don't know. What do horses do in that storms like that? Do they dig holes and they hide eat. in the sand? No, they just they stand just there and eat. take it? I thought we were going to blow they away. Lock, they lock their knees and they sleep. That's crazy. Horses are crazy. <laughs>
Did they turn out to be gorgeous, or as Lindsay says, gorgeous? And we're gonna go look for some horses. Because on Assateague Island, there's wild horses. They've been here ever since Christopher Columbus shipwrecked off the coast. And all the men died, but the horses swam ashore, and then they started making more horses. And because it's an island, the horses couldn't go anywhere. And so these horses are actually the same horses that belong to Christopher Columbus. Did you know that? They're not the exact same ones. They're distant relatives. I don't know. Christopher Columbus didn't shipwreck here, babe. And they're ponies. Oh, they're ponies. I don't know the difference between a horse and a pony. If you do, leave a positive comment for us. Don't call me a dump because I don't know horses. this campground the horses literally just walk around and they'll come through your campsite if they want to. So we're staying at the Assateague State Park campground and uh, we've obviously we've had horses wander right by where we are. We've got the beach right here. It's awesome but we want to go wander down to the National Seashore. Lindsay thinks there might be some more horses down there. So we're gonna go scope it out and we wanted to point out we love our truck camper. But one of the things about camping, unless you take the camper off the truck, which we're only here for two days, so it wasn't really worth it to us. But if you take the truck, <laughs> the truck off the camper, if you take the camper off the truck, then you can go wander around with your truck and go wherever you want. But in our case, we have to break camp kind of quickly and not necessarily put everything away. But then we have to, uh, you know, put things where they're not going to fall everywhere so we can go drive around. And that's what we're doing right now. A little bit of an ordeal to move everything back in its place, but not too bad. I mean, we've got a few things that we have to move, and some of it we can leave. I don't think anybody's gonna steal anything here, so we'll leave a few things. Are you gonna leave him? Yeah, we're gonna leave him. We'll leave Huck. Yeah, he'll protect it. Huck, I'm just gonna get my baby. It's a mess right now because they pulled out all the toys, but. Uh. Like, we can't leave the water here. That will go in the front with us. Like, I'm gonna have to move this back into the fridge. My coffee cup's gonna have to go somewhere. Chris's coffee cup's gonna have to go somewhere. The car's gonna go up in the The teapot bed. needs to go in here. Pots and pans. We got a lot of crap out. We're not off-roading, so it's not gonna bounce everywhere, but Definitely not leaving the computer sitting out. So we're gonna go ahead and zip this up and then we'll get in the truck and we'll drive over to the National Seashore. So this park here on Assateague is a national seashore and you do need a national park pass uh, to enter or you have to pay a daily fee of, did it say 20 or 25? It's 20 or 25 for a week. Yeah, a so it's uh, more than a day. It's a get an entrance for a week for $20, $25. But if you have your na your annual National Park Pass, uh, it gets you in for free. Um, you just go right in and we're just driving around scouting out. Not scouting out, but we're just driving around and looking at the park and seeing if we see any ponies or any sign of ponies, which means pony poop, which I have not seen any pony poop. No pony poop? No pony poop. So, I haven't seen pony poop. But we're looking. All right, we will uh, show you when it's we better, see some. Better to look at pony poop than to step in it. That's what that's what my dad always said. Better to look at it on TV. I do have to say though, it is a lot better stepping in pony poop than it is stepping in dog poop. I don't know why we're even having this conversation. Why are we talking about <laughs> stepping know. in? Lindsay, I want my money back. It was free. This was not at all what I was expecting. It was free. There were more ponies walking through our campground than there is pony poop on the side of the road. It was free to get in. I still want my money back. There's no money for what? It was free and it didn't cost us anything. Yeah, but the world we live in today, like, I just want somebody to give me something back for the time that I spent in this place that was not good. It was 
wasted. Like it's not wasted. Nobody's gonna give me something for nothing. Cause I didn't see any ponies. Yeah. No. Can't guarantee to see wildlife. They don't give you your money back because you don't see moose at Yellowstone or a wolf. But oh, but there's deer. They're supposed to. There's deer. Are you kidding me? So I don't get any money. Uh huh. Well, we got deer, no ponies. That's cool though. Well, there's our wildlife spotting for the day. Yeah, I know. They just they threw that out there at the last minute, so Stop. now they can refuse to You're give me, on me a refund. It was just deer. I've seen more deer hit the front of my truck than um, I just saw right there. One? <laughs> yeah, that's right. One deer. That was a crazy story. Crazy time. If you ever hit a deer, you know it's not fun. We hit a deer 70 miles an hour in Wyoming. Back to uh, my refund though. Like, that's sad. It's like they just pop, pop the deer up just to screw me over. That's my luck. That's America for you in 2020. You think you're getting something for nothing and then it ends up being nothing for nothing. So we did all that driving around. I didn't get my refund. I saw a stinking deer, big whoop. And then we get back to our campsite. Look who's just hanging out. Look at the baby. <laughs> I know, we left and then we came back here. If we would have just stayed, they would have showed up. <laughs> Lindsay, is that a horse on your shoulder? It is, a pony. It's a pony. Not even a stone's throw away. <laughs> I had to move. <laughs> She's like, um, I'm coming through. No, no, no. Close and personal. I mean, they're not afraid of people. Probably because they know when they walk up that the people move. <laughs> I move my feet and they're the boss. Huck almost gets stepped on? He was barking at her and she just plowed right through. He walked up behind her. I was like, please don't kick. She didn't try. She didn't care. You think she'd be so kind as to take his trash and throw it away for us? Probably not. <laughs> oh, no bark. I'm just gonna be, and he's going around. It's okay, baby. Shh. Huck. Quiet. I was working and I looked out the window and there were horses running up to the beach. So we haven't seen them at the beach yet. We saw them all around the campground. But now Lindsay's out taking pictures and I was gonna take the dogs for a walk anyway. So it works out. Too bad the park rangers don't drive the horses out of here because they're eating the sea oats. That's what holds the dunes down and that's what keeps this whole place from washing away. Stinking horses. They have to eat. They don't have to eat that. But they have to eat. I hope you didn't hear that. It's pretty out here. Mm -hmm. It's cold. <laughs> A little chilly. It's not as bad as yesterday. 